Bonjour everyone! In today's video we're going to Paris, but not in France. We're going thousands of miles away in China. China is famous for its replica cities, but this one is said to be their biggest and best copy ever. However, I was told this place was a complete ghost town, and so I decided to go and find out the real story behind this place, and also find out a little bit more about why people live there, and what Chinese life is like outside of the big cities. What is your name? Chen Pingjing. Mm. Get ready for a journey to Paris that you never knew existed, right here in China. Parlez-vous français? Uh, je ne parle pas français. Ah, you live here? Je m'appelle Mac. Forget. <laughs> 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 so it looks like there's a barrier all the way around and we're currently just trying to see if we can get in. Looks like we're gonna have to break in boys. Uh oh. <laughs> Shall we jump on? <laughs> Ni hao ma. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the locals here are just very surprised to see Westerners here. We're getting a lot of confused looks. Ni shi le ma. Ni shi le ma. Practicing my extremely broken uh, Mandarin, I said to him, What did you eat today? Because here in China, you don't ask how are you, you ask what did you eat today? Apparently it's very nice and then usually people would explain what they ate and it starts a very long conversation. However, I probably said it completely wrong, so he may have thought I said, What are you eating, you big fool? You can see they've got lots of electric vehicles. Every car with the green number plate means it's electric. And apparently, actually, I was told that if you have a Tesla in China, it means you're a bit of a cheapskate. Because in China, Tesla is one of the cheapest electric vehicles you can have. So <laughs> that guy right there is a cheapskate. So we've been walking around the whole perimeter and it's all blocked off. I'm so confused. Why have they blocked it off? And, uh, can we get in? We'll find out. I think it's easier to sneak into the real Paris over the canal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. at this rate, we may have to fly to the Eiffel Tower in Paris to show you. All right, we found a little opening. This is where we could get sent to Chinese prison, but we're gonna, we're gonna go in anyway. All right, well, there's people here. There's tourists here. <laughs> Paris has certainly not <laughs> improved. There's like derelict buildings, there's overgrown bushes and rubbish everywhere. This is not the Paris I was expecting, that's for sure. You, you cannot go there because it's under, under work. Under work? Yeah. Oh, okay. Where are you from? Algeria. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Salaam alaikum. Your YouTube channel. <laughs> Kifak. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. You, 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 yeah. you, ca you came here to see Paris? Uh, no, no, or a fake Paris. <laughs> have you been to real Paris? No. What about you? <laughs> For now you have. You can say you have. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I have not even been to Paris and I live one hour. Really? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you are recording right now? I am, I am, I am. Good. I want to go to Algeria. Ah, uh, really? Yeah, it's a nice place. Y yeah, yeah, you ca you, we can host you now, there. Thank you. Sure. Shukran Yikhey is stopping us from... Yeah, yeah he okay. can say like you can take photos here, but over there we cannot because it's under work. Oh, I see. All right. Thank you. Shut up now. Okay, shut up now. Wow, this looks like an absolute shit hole, if I'm gonna be honest. It's just all derelict building site. And then you can just see hundreds of, and I actually mean hundreds of residential buildings all around. And then it's like this quarter is designed like Paris. And then like all of this is just like back to China. Hold on one second. Shut up. Before we continue this video, I want to talk about mental health. It's something that's very important. And as I've been traveling the world for two years now, completely solo, there are times where loneliness does creep in. Having good mental health is so important for me as it allows me to fully embrace the opportunities of travel as well as focus on my business and make sure everything is running smoothly. And it's okay to ask for help and that's why I have a paid partnership with BetterHelp to help shine light on mental health and well-being no matter where you are in the world. BetterHelp lets you connect with therapists online who are trained to listen while giving you helpful and unbiased professional advice. Discovering the service allowed me to explore the world whilst taking care of my mind, literally saying goodbye 
to the stress of having to find a local therapist in the area. I recently tried the service for the last three months and it was so quick and smooth. Within 48 hours, I was signed up and connected with a licensed therapist who was able to listen and understand and was like a travel companion to me whilst I was moving around the world. Another thing that was really valuable to me was taking away the hassle of physically going out and having a face-to-face -face interaction with a therapist. Since BetterHelp offers therapy sessions through video calls or phone calls or even messaging. And if you think therapy could be beneficial to you, it would also support my channel. Then you can get 10% off your first month if you use my link in the description below or go to betterhelp.com slash Harry Jaggard. I'm just gonna sneak in. The security said he started shouting at Ali, but we're just gonna try and sneak in just for a quick five minutes to see the Eiffel Tower. When I was researching online, I was reading about how Chinese architects believe that this is a testament to their advancements in technology, the ability to recreate iconic structures around the world because this is not the first. They have multiple sites where they've just basically uh, picked up famous landmarks and placed them around China. It also goes to show that uh, China thinks of themselves as like the center of the world and now they're bringing the world into China. It's amazing to see and you know I have to say this has been designed very well. Not that I've been to the Eiffel Tower so I wouldn't know exactly what it looks like but it looks extremely similar just a slightly smaller version of it hello you can hear birds up there <laughs> imagine if i was in paris right now it would be 10 times busier than this and i probably would have had to have paid like 50 dollars just to get here or go up the eiffel tower but this is free to travel here in china shanghai china this city was actually uh, made over 10 years ago and for the first few years it was a complete ghost town now it's starting to bring in steady tourism but as you can see it's not been effective it's bizarre man <laughs> yeah. it's like like everything's overgrown eerie quiet but the craziest thing i think is probably the surroundings are even more crazy than the building itself like yeah this is a copy of this copy of this copy of this copy of this copy like every single building pretty much around us is exactly the same yeah that's a great point it's super eerie. The weather feels like I'm in England. Nishiloma. Where, where are you from? China. Uh, that, which country? That, or which uh, which uh, province? Oh, you just like Hangzhou, man. Hangzhou. Hangzhou. Why did you come here? Um, because, because, because I need to take a video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chinese people we love. very they they like Paris. They like France. You mean Chinese people like Paris? I uh, like Where, it so much. So really? Much. Yes. Yeah. And what's your favorite thing about China? For the bar. And the camera. Camera, yeah. And the vlog. 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 You're awesome. Yeah. Vlogging brothers. Yeah. 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 Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You know, you know in China. We no. not have a YouTube. Ah. But I love YouTube. Ah. <laughs> can, you, can you tell them they have very nice style? Like... That's my boss. Oh, wow. yes. He looks yes. like he's like a model. Yes. Yes. Model. <laughs> 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 he said, like, it's okay. No, no, I'm not. Do you, you... you can hear do what? We're also making Vlogging. YouTube videos. Videos. Yeah. In China, we we know uh, FPV. FPV. Yes. In China, people don't n learn oh. English in school, or you do learn English. Uh, you finish. Much Hello. much Chinese English, English is made very made bad. Made bad. Right. Uh, but yeah. we you like to talk. Uh, me, me. Me too. Uh, okay. Bye. Bye bye. Have a good day. How are you finding China? Uh, perfect. <laughs> it uh, like you're gonna earn some money, money, so many money here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is is this? You're gonna be rich when you stay here in China. <laughs> <laughs> Inshallah. <laughs> Inshallah, <baby. laughs> is, is... How do Chinese people treat you as a foreigner? Uh, treat you an excellent, like an excellent per because they here in China they love they they adore foreigners. Really? Yeah, yeah. Especially like they have like like here like yellow <laughs> hair and uh, white like white red face, so they treat you 
you well. Oh, yeah. awesome. That's good so to So in hear. general, like foreigners, they treat them so good here. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thank you, Thank brother. You. Nice Take to care. meet you. Shalafna. Thank you. Shalafna, Vivi. Now we've got to the France residential area. And you can see it's actually quite busy. It's picking up. It's getting the evening time. They've got some food here. We've got some food. Ni hao. Ni shilu mei. Ni shilu mei. <laughs> it's not working. We've got some pork. Very nice. Maybe we'll have to get some later. You see people just driving on the sidewalk here. And look, these are all busy. Everyone online has said this was a ghost town, but it's not. <laughs> no English? You are here to travel. Yes, yes. <laughs> are you a university student? No, I am making YouTube videos. I am a vlogger. <laughs> is this your mother? No. What is your name? Chen Qingqing. Chen Qingqing. Chen Qingqing. <laughs> wow, Harry, Harry. Your name is in the movie. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm. Oh wow. Okay. So she said it's not pork. We'll find out. This definitely looks like pork to me. That's pork. Oh, Alipay. Alipay and WeChat. So once again, I've been proven wrong that Chinese people are very friendly especially once you get out of the big cities oh it's so good no idea how much I'm paying but it's so good no 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 I pay I pay no all this four 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 wow wow four yen I just pay like this and then boom done that is how you pay for China, no cash. We came here because it looks like Paris in France. Do you live here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you live here? My home is here. Okay, amazing. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Bye bye. Wow. <laughs> Such friendly people. Oh, there's a Chinese person right there. That's a strange looking Chinese person. Hello. Are you French or Chinese? <laughs> wow, this guy's fluent. So you can see this is the main street leading up to the Eiffel Tower here. This is just, it's so strange to think that I'm in China right now. I've never actually been to Paris, but this is Paris in China. It's literally like a carbon copy that you can see. There's quite a few people living here in these buildings. All the clothes are drying and all the shops are now open. But it's just strange seeing Paris architecture and then Chinese writing on the shopping uh, streets. And then you can see, unfortunately, they haven't kept this place in good condition. And it's just a bit of a dead area, like not much going on. But look at that. It's so cool. The boys have been walking around Paris for the whole day, so I think we're gonna try and get a full body massage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me and Mac have done this before in China. It's your first time. Yeah, get ready for an experience. Expect. It's gonna yeah. be an experience. Ni hao. Can we get massage? Quan shou diu shao kan tian. You see, they've got all the Chinese flags. One thing about China is they have flags everywhere. They're very nationalistic, very proud of their country. Oh, here we go. Here we go, we're putting the feet in. Oh, Shi Shi by Jean. Yes. Oh, I'm moving, I'm moving. He's kicking me out. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Oh God, I feel like an old lady. I'm disabled. There we go. He wants the good chair. Uh, yeah, he's sitting there. He's like, I'm going. All right. Oh, here we go. So he's put a timer on for 75 minutes. So the clock is ticking, Bicep. All right. I'm just going to close my eyes and pretend he's a girl. Mm, yeah, I had a good day as well. Yeah. Mm. The weather's nice. The strength is like medium, but 
It feels good. Oh, there we go. It's weird, like, uh, I probably should have taken my jacket off, but you would have thought he would have said, so he's like, there's like three layers of, of fabric that he's trying to massage it, but it would have been so much better if I just took my jacket off. Yeah, this is the first place in, in the world I've been to where they actually time it. Usually if you're in Bali or Thailand, they're like, if it's a 60 minute massage, they do 45 minutes and then they just pretend that they've done 60. But this is to the second. It's good. Are you feeling a bit left out right now? <laughs> yeah, Ali's over there like, uh, wait, where's me? Where's my massage? Oh, Thai haula. Thai haula. Oh my God, he's working on the brain right now. Oh. Oh my god. Ah! This is crazy. He's very strong. Thai uh, haula. Thank you. I'm speaking Haranese. <laughs> it's a little bit painful, I have to be honest. Thai haula. Thai haula. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. He's trying to kill me. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, ah. oh my god, brother. <laughs> Sounds like a horse is running on your back. <laughs> oh, there's a horse in here. Oh. Oh. Mm. And, uh, oh, it looks like we got Harry in his favorite position as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, there he is. <laughs> oh, I don't think she likes him very much, bro. Wait, you stop. Oh, a bit of clickage. Oh, <laughs> I think I was over there. <laughs> what the I'm, hell's going I'm, I'm glad I got the guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jokes on oh, Ali. I don't this know what's going bro. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I think oh, she fancies you. Uh, ah, he's doing something with my arm. There's some muscle in there that must have been pulled at his. Ah, ah. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm done. Oh, we've got 49 minutes left. 49 minutes? Yeah. Bro, just, just turn it off. Yeah, turn it off, turn it off. Ali and his new girlfriend are having this rough start to their relationship. I enjoyed it. Yeah? Yeah, I like it rough. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you putting this? Oh my god. Be careful with that. Uh oh. I'm going to she she out of here in a minute. Oh my god. He's putting a razor on that. So he's got, he's put a razor blade in this like metal scalp and he's just sprayed it with disinfectant. So they're going to be doing something strange to my feet. Oh, so he's got, oh. He's got a, he's got a razor blade up to my feet and he's scraping the skin off. Oh, that's ticklish. Oh. 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 oh! 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 Yeah, we could start selling feet pics. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start a feet pic account. Oh, it's yeah, My Facebook's been filthy money for Yeah. Hi, Hola. Hi, Hola. Hi, He's working on the feet now. Oh, you should have made. You should have, mom. Massage. Massage. That means he had a big meal. Yeah, it was like fat McDonald's. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is. Ah. You want to kill me? You want to kill me? I said, that was a yes. Ah. Oh, this is... Oh, my God. All right, I thought it was done, but it's not. Oh, my God. He's just going for it. He's just sticking... Oh, God. He's just sticking cups on me without me... Oh, my God. This feels so painful. <laughs> oh, bro, look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. Holy crap. It feels like it's, like, pinching my skin really, really hard. This is more painful than when I had it on my back. <laughs> oh no. If he did that too many times, he would fuck, like completely destroy my foot. Oh, this feels so strange. Oh, this is not Thai Haula.
<laughs> no, tie howler. That can't be good for you, surely. No, it is really good for you. For what? <laughs> Circulation or some shit. I don't know. Some shit. Yeah. Does it leave your feet like super bruised? Oh yeah, God. yeah, yeah. It gets pain. It gets more painful as you go on. It just cuts the blood circulation. I'm not too sure what it does. Someone will know in I the think, comments. I think uh, one of the main benefits is it gives you gangrene. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, cupping therapy is an ancient healing method, which uses suction to pull on your skin, increase blood blood flow and causes bruising and can lead to skin infection. Oh. That's the Google. <laughs> Great. I'm right. the most important. $60. $20 each. Oh, $20 each. All right. Yeah. What? Shishé, shishé. Shishé, shishé. Tai haula. Tai haula. Tai haula. So far. Shishé, tai haula. Tai haula. And to finish the night off, we've just come back to the Paris area and there's a big group lesson. They're doing dancing, maybe it's Tai Chi, but there's like a hundred people. Oh, there's multiple groups. These ladies are doing the serious dancing and then we've got a big group of here. They're all ladies, all like uh, middle-aged and elderly ladies doing a big dance. So I guess this is the way that Chinese people stay fit and it's a way of socializing. Oh, there we go, we're getting it boys. Oh. This is so nice. This goes to show Chinese community is such a big thing and they really put a lot of importance on staying fit, staying healthy and getting the social connection. This is so true that once you lose the social connection, your brain starts to deteriorate and obviously just staying healthy like this, getting a few calories burned every day, it's so good. Kai Haola! I'm gonna try and copy them exactly. Uh, the British legend is going in. Oh. Oh. You guys are not being creative. You can't do anything wrong, it's about staying fit. <laughs> Oh, you're a natural. Bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, this guy's done this before. <laughs> so we've just been walking around the town at night. And for me, this place feels like what the real China is like. Although, ironically, it looks like Paris. The feeling here that I'm getting is like it's we've really discovered the real China. Or at least the city life in China. Shanghai just seems very westernized. And uh, everyone, you know, working hard and doing their business, whereas this is more what real life is like in China.